Yeah, hi Omar. Hi. I'm sharing my screen. One second, let me know once you are able to see. Uh, are you able to see now? Uh, no, Santosh. Uh, okay. Uh, how is it now? Yes, uh, yeah, I can see. Okay. So now uh, we have completed the uh, forward order management and site unit creation. Okay. okay, so for forwarding order management is uh, is a document, it's an information purpose and after that the flight unit is useful for planning. Okay, it's a prerequisite for planning of your uh, uh, forwarding order or for the transportation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so within the forwarding order, uh, so we have created the flight unit and from the flight unit, uh, we are now executing or we are now going for the subsequent process which is called as a planning run. So this planning run is meant for uh, planning for your uh, flight units. So here uh, in the flight unit we already combined or we have consolidated different forwarding orders. Okay, so during the planning run we will be able to say to system that we want to plan or we want to have the one flight order or um, different flight, flight orders for each and every stage so based on the planning or based on the uh, process that what we are going to see now. Okay. So planning contains uh, profiles, selection profile, okay, uh, your uh, transportation unit profile or carrier profile. So there are different types of profiles. So we have we are going to see each and every profile now. So the first part of the planning run is uh, so just an introduction about what is a planning. So objective of our planning is to determine most cost effective and timely transportation between the source and destination location. So we are getting the source and destination location from the uh, forwarding order. Right. Okay. So flight unit is uh, created from the forwarding order and it forms the basis for your planning. Right. And flight is a input for your planning for process and output of your planning for process is the flight order. So if you consider uh, planning as a mechanism, the input of your planning will be your uh, flight unit and output will be your flight order. Right. So planning cannot be carried, planning can be carried in two ways. One is manual planning and one is VSR optimization. So manual planning is that we have to execute each and every profile. So VSR optimization is vehicle, okay, scheduling and resource optimization. So there is nothing but through job, bad job or programs which we execute in the back end. Okay. So planning depends on a master data and planning depends on some selection profiles, planning profiles and settings. Okay, so these are the uh, important factors that what we have to consider when we are running for the planning. Uh, come again, uh, planning depends on master planning data. Master data, some of the master data and selection profiles, planning profiles and respective settings. So master data is nothing but already we have transferred the master data like locations, uh, your source and destination, transportation chain, transportation lane, uh, vehicles, resources. Okay, so now we are going to see the selection profiles and planning profiles. Okay. So basically selection profile is nothing but it is one way of consolidating or grouping different flight units, okay, uh, and uh, we are planning on that documents. It's a grouping of all the business documents. Here, the business documents are nothing but your flight units. Okay. Okay. So the selection profile will be considered uh, while we are doing the planning. Either it can be a manual planning or it can be a obvious optimization. Okay. So planning selection profiles uh, is also useful for flight units or flight orders because uh, now we are just doing the flight units. Okay, based on the flight units, we are creating the flight orders. Now we define our different structures for the selection profile and it attributes as. So 
So when we are going to define the selection profile, the selection profile should be like maximum number of objects. So how many objects you want to pick or the system has to pick when we are considering the selection for party selection profile. So if you say 100, so there are only 100 fried units will be taken into consideration while we are uh, pulling or while we are planning or we are executing the planning. Okay. So we have an option whether it can be a time related selection profile or we have an option whether it's a geographical related selection profile or some additional selection attributes such as uh, if you want anything other than these two. Maybe it's a combination of geography and the time related. Okay. So what will happen uh, at the time when it is a time related selection profile we have a demand or so that means it will contain the pickup and the delivery date. So whatever the dates you put in the demand origin, the system will consider those dates or the documents which are falling under below these dates or between the range of these dates will be populated. Like for example, if you put the pickup date as uh, Jan, June 1st till June 31st and we have uh, created two for, of uh, fried units, one is on 31st May and one is on June 1st. Okay. So then the system will pull only the document which created on June 1st and it will ignore the document which was created on 31st. So this is how the planning of demand housing will work. Okay. So system chooses planning related objectives whose pickup and delivery date and timeline within the relevant demand housing. So this is what I told the example. Okay. Two, there are two demand horizons. One is absolute and one is relative. So what is this absolute and what is relative? So absolute is just you have to enter the dates like starting from June 1st till uh, June 31st. That is absolute. So okay. relative is you are not mentioning specific date but you just instead you say uh, 40 days, 50 days, 100 days, 120 days of this. So the date when you are executing the run, the system will take the pickup date of from 40 days or from uh, the delivery date from the 40 days of that range. So it will be from the uh, report and um, from the day that you run? Yeah, the date from when you are going to run the planning, so the date from the date 40 days or whatever that is, it will take. Okay. I will show you now. So absolute is nothing but by maintaining the start date, it's a specific date we are maintaining. Relative is by maintaining specific durations in this. Okay, so current date it can be taken as a start date. Okay. Okay, rounding horizon to full days. Like for example, the first date starts at uh, 12 o'clock, the last day and set 2359. So this is how the rounding horizon will be. Okay, and we also will enter the time zones and factory calendar. So time zones is basically me meant for uh, to identify in which time zone you are into because we have a rounding profile. So maybe if you are into, uh, for example, EMEA zone, okay, so that date will be different from the, uh, the dates which you are into Singapore, right? So maybe it is right. some 400, 400 or 500 hours different. All right, all right. So that is what we are entering, entering here. The factory calendar is it is useful to identify the uh, holidays, public holidays, or whatever the other dates. Okay. So now geographical selection attributes is uh, we are defining the source and destination locations, okay, which are considered choosing the business documents. So, for example, consider uh, source location, source zone, destination location, and the destination zones. So. Uh, while creating this geographical selection profile, so we will be mentioning like uh, from Dubai to Germany. So what are the documents which are there from Dubai to Germany will be pulled into the planning run. So rest of all the documents will not be pulled. So this is one way of specifically restricting the uh, planning run. So it will not call all the documents, but it instead will call only the specific documents. So previous one time related is generic way and this is specific way. Okay. So addition, additional selection attributes is uh, maybe if you want to restrict based on the document type or maybe based on the source location or maybe based on the time and related to other documents, quotation type or OTR type or any uh, uh, determination documents or any business partner. So we will be using the additional selection attributes. Okay. So all these parameters, I can't put it in the system so the planning run will be restricted based on that. That's the meaning yeah. of it. Yeah. 
I'll uh, just show you the planning run here. So we can come to the planning run from the uh, NWBC application administration. So we will be having the plan. Okay. So in the planning run, we will be having the selection profiles. Okay. Create selection profile. In the selection profile, first of all, I will just show you how to create one templated. Okay. We have to maintain the request here. So I'll just take one. Okay. I will uh, just put as tm underscore as e selection profile underscore one. Okay. Just put selection profile. Okay. Okay. So here I'm just saying that number of documents to be selected is 20, so 200. So uh, based on your run, the system will automatically pull 200 documents within that range, whether it's a templated or geographically related. Okay. Okay. I'll just say create templated. I will come first. I will create templated. So it is you have to create only one. So it should not be for both. We have to only use one. Tm underscore but you mean by both? Both in the sense you cannot create template and geographical in one selection profile. It should be always one. Uh, okay. Okay, so once you enter here, the system will automatically copy this. Okay, time let me take the file. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, say here the absolute horizon. You see, the system will ask you to enter the start date and end date. If you enter the relative, it will activate the days. So okay. based on this, you have to choose. Okay, now date and end date. Okay, here I will put uh, from June first the pickup date till 30th of June. So whatever the dates or whatever the documents falling are between this range, I want. Same thing. Okay. Visible data all start yeah. uh, But this now, this profile, if I fix the date in this way, I need to change it all the time, right? After, like, in first, first of June, uh, because no data will be retrieved. That's what it should be. You will be creating a variant. So uh, always in the variance, if it is a job run, so you will be creating the variance. It will be for one month or two months. You will just stay in the dates. Within that range, whatever the documents are open, the system will pull all them into the planning run. So it will pull only the open documents, like which are uh, ready for planning, not all the documents which are existing. Okay. Mm. So once it is uh, already it was planned, so the document will be removed from the list. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting you, but uh, what I'm trying to say, if I, this date, yeah. the end date, it should be incremental. Yeah. It should be incremental, am I right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you have to get a job, and now I'm doing a manual one, so if it is a, a job, right, so then in the variant you will mention the date. So from today, yeah, yeah. this one. That's right, that's right, I got it. So this job it will be created where? In the end. In the ECC or? No, no, this is in TM. So we are uh, uh, nowhere related to ECC, right? This is only we are doing in TM. Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to say now. This is just like a variant, am I right? If you save this document. Yeah, it's a variant. Can, yes. Yeah, you can. Uh, okay, problem. Let us continue. Later on, show me where, where is the background job. Yeah, I'll show the background job. So now here I'm just putting these dates and. Uh, uh, I will try to save this and I will come, like next time I will come and create for geographical related. Okay? okay. So now uh, what I am trying to do is, I will go to the planning run here, uh, cockpit. Okay, just click on the transportation cockpit. Okay, so here I will create a new entry. Uh, 
uh, we have this one, right? The one I just created, right? Yeah, it is for flight units and this is for flight orders. So uh, just to enter something, uh, we will see the flight orders later. But now uh, we only for planning that we need to uh, do this. I'm just taking some planning ones, okay? We are not at seeing this. So now we are only running for flight units. So that's why I'm just putting some on the other things I'm putting some standard values, okay? Okay. I'll come here. After some time I'll come back and pass it to So don't worry. Then now we'll just take this and continue. Okay, so we are not seeing anything. Why? Because uh, I think uh, within that range we don't have any document. So we will do one flight forwarding order and we will come again to it. I will create some forwarding order. Okay. Some 94. Okay, 94. Okay, so uh, everything is same. So we have to just go for stages, and uh, go to the locations. Okay, so we have entered the locations and dates. Okay, so here we just put from six to eight. This is the date on which uh, we want to put, pull. And now I'll just save uh, this and. Uh, no, no, come back and. Uh, Come back to where? Which screen? Uh, to the forwarding order. Ah, okay. I'm, I'm there in the forwarding order. I have not had saved. Just I'm saving now. That's all. No, actually I'm in the uh, uh, in the initial screen. The SAPTM. Uh, yeah. Now, the peak date, uh, this should be entered now. Am I right? The peak date and delivery date and the location. Yeah, this date. These dates we are just telling to shipper that, that I want the shipper instance or LSP I want to be picked from this date and delivery should happen on this date. Based on this only the planning will happen. Okay, perfect. Now if I don't maintain this date, what will happen? It will not pick to the run planning run. So it will not be in plan, huh? Yeah, it will not be in plan. So without plan without these dates, uh, the LSP cannot plan, right? So these are mandatory. Okay, okay. Okay, it just saved. 99 got saved. So what we will do is just uh, I will come to this again. Corporate planning. Okay, so here I will go for transportation corporate. Okay, I will take this and I will continue on the run. Back end. Now uh, the document, whatever we created, the system has created this. Mm -hmm. This for 100 and the customer location. This is the six request. And uh, the run is this is the document which is nothing but your uh, forwarding the run. Okay. Okay. So this is the planning run based on the selection profile. Now what I will do is I will take this uh, another example in the planning. Maybe I will go for uh, application administration. So here I will put I will take whatever the selection profile we created. Edit selection profile. Not this trip. So we are going to create applications selection profile attribute selection profile edit selection profile. Okay, so we will be going to create a selection profile which is TMSP one. So I will just use the same selection profile, but uh, uh, I will change the geographical related. I will change from the time related to geographical. Okay, I will take this. I will remove this. I will put the same here geographical related underscore uh, selection 
file underscore one. So whatever you create here, the system will automatically create this. Okay. So geographical related underscore s p l e c t i o n profile underscore one. Okay. And put it's a geo geographical. So now you can't find any details here because we entered here as a geograph related selection profile but not this uh, time related selection profile. But if you go to this tab you can see the geograph related details. So here what we are trying to enter, here we are saying inclusive that means it's equal to we are entering the value so uh, the source location should be so now we are into source location. Okay, so that means whenever the source location is 3100 and the destination location is equal to uh, CU302. So you are, you are specifying only one customer, one, one source, one destination? Yeah, here you can enter uh, as many as possible. So like we have okay. different, different. So we have upper mm -hmm. limit and lower. You can enter okay. as many. So the, all the details. So whenever the system finds these two, then automatically it should pull. Okay. So now I'll just uh, remove this. Uh, now what I will do is, I will go for uh, uh, again creating another forwarding guard because the previous forwarding guard is already planned. Okay, it's under the uh, time related planning. Yeah, under the time related planning. So now I'll just go with a different one. Uh, 2199, right? Uh, for me, this uh, uh, drop-down list is not coming here. Yeah. Why? Which drop-down list? When I put like, uh, for example, 2100, the order is coming down. Oh, history, yeah? Yeah, it's not coming oh, for me. I don't... You, have to, you have to make settings in your GUI. So the historical data should be there. That, that setting will be there. If you just check, then only the history will be saved. I have done that, but I don't know why. It's Okay, anyways, I'll check it out. No okay, let me check it. So I'm just creating another one uh, with the. Uh, I'm not choosing the time related now. Okay, I'm just putting the geographical related. So here, uh, what I will be doing is. So remaining all the dates are same. Now I'm just save. That's all. Mm -hmm. And now I will run this. I do the planning run. Now we'll pull the planning. Now you should add that one, sir. So now here you are able to see all because uh, the source location uh -huh. here to destination with the CU302, you will find all the flight units. Okay, just we have to find out what is ours. You are able to see this? Or you are yeah. still pushing? No, actually, uh, we haven't created the plan here, am I right? Go to the profile. No, no, I have created, right? So, uh, one second, I will show you. So, this is a profile. So the same within the same profile I added the geographical related. Ah oh, okay okay okay. Okay. So I'm just going to continue. Mm -hmm. okay, so here uh, we will be able to see our uh, document. So once you come here you have to find out what is the document. So system has brought all the documents uh, which are falling from the 3100 to CU300. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think this one will be our uh, six six two thousand. Okay, just we will see. Yeah, this one two thousand one hundred. Okay. So this is what we have to do. Okay. So if you see here the item, the previous item is nothing but a product. 
okay now here you can see the packaging so this is what the item packaging is okay okay so this is under planning so it is not a plan if you see here and plan if you see this is a plan so if the uh, you can see the status here what does it mean uh, planned no plan in the sense uh, from this document a flight order got created so that is a plan so now we are only just doing the planning the output once the output is executed or flight order is created so that is nothing but your planning uh, I will just show you here I will, I will just click go for plan selected items okay if you just click that plan selected items automatically the system should uh, system should go and create a flight order I will show you I'm mm -hmm. just running this. Now just see here, it got changed. So I've just selected 62 and it was planned now. Once you save this here, the document got coming, the document got created, which is a flight order. Okay, okay. I'll just save this and I will explain this flight order and all differently. But now we are only here, okay, in the planning. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the flight order got created and if you see the transportation mode is road. Why is system is showing mode road here? Any idea? Because our transportation mean is road, am I right? Yeah, in the forwarding order or flight unit, we have selected the road as a forwarding uh, your transportation mode and we have not changed anything there. So if you right. change that, there it should it, it might have uh, shown differently. Right. Okay. This is about your uh, uh, selection profiles. Okay, now uh, we have to go for a planning profile. So whatever now we have done, it's only selection profile. So now we are going for planning profile. I'll just uh, share this. So planning profile is, uh, we are just grouping the documents or we are just grouping the business documents uh, into a different uh, are, are based on some certain parameters we are grouping. Okay, so okay. again this is considered as a manual planning or uh, VSR optimization. So here the planning profile contains uh, whether we want planning assignments or planning origin or business document types, parallel processing profiles or uh, loading and unloading activities or we want uh, carrier details or we want uh, capacity planning, all these things will be there in the planning profile. Come again, what, what, what does it mean, the structure of planning profile? The planning profile, we are planning for based on the capacity or based on the carrier selection or based on the uh, planning documents, that means for business document types or planning strategies, loading or unloading profiles. So there are different other profiles which all together combinedly called as a planning profiles. Okay. Okay. In the same way how we have done the selection profile, the planning profile also should be done. Okay. A, 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 it can be either manual planning or VSR optimization, so there will be no difference. So if it's a manual, so whatever the transportation cockpit, the way we have gone and we have to just execute. VSR optimization is a background, I will show you that one. So this contains, this planning profile contains capacity, optimized selections, planning cost settings, incompatible settings, carrier selection settings. So at each and every stage, we will be, uh, 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 we have to choose this. Now, we have a section profile and the document got created, the flight order. So, but now after the flight order got created, we will be having a tendering profile. So, what is this tendering profile? It's a tendering profile or carrier selection profile is how a carrier will be selected for the flight order. Mm -hmm. So, we have just chosen the uh, flight order, but that car that flight order has to be sent to some different carriers, right? To execute the transaction. So that has to be given to some carriers. So we have a carrier selection profile or we have some tendering profile. So what is this tendering profile? If you have n number of carriers which are operating on that lane. So to which carrier we have to finally assign. So that is a tendering profile. Okay. Okay. So uh, we have a capacity planning. So capacity selection profile in sense uh, maybe for the resources planning. So we need this capacity. And uh, incompatible settings is nothing but, uh, uh, for example, uh, you have uh, two flight units, one flight unit or uh, one flight unit with uh, iron O and another flight unit with uh, FMCG material. Okay, uh, your 
customer, you are one, one of the customer and I am the one of the customer and we both went to shipper saying that we want delivery to the same destination, same source, from the same source to the destination location. Maybe it is from uh, Germany to uh, Dubai or Dubai to Germany, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So, you will be saying, okay, uh, this transportation, my transportation, maybe I will be saying, since I am a reference G material, I will be saying, okay, this transportation needs to be sent immediately and it should not be clubbed with any shipments. So that is what my condition is. Okay. So then, even though the both shipments are originating from the same source location and going for the same destination location, the shipper has to go to LSP and say, I want a different shipment for these two. Okay. So that is incompatibility settings. Incompatibility is nothing but whether two materials or two freight units can be uh, combined into one shipment or not. Okay, but this is I can uh, I can maintain this in the forwarding order, am I right? Uh, this maintained in the uh, planning run only. So whatever we are doing, it's a planning run. Incompatibility settings. So then mm -hmm. system will not plan those documents into uh, those freight units into one shipment. Okay. 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 So okay. this is about the planning run, and uh, uh, this carrier selection profile and all we will be seeing at the time when we are going for carrier selection compatible settings and all. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now uh, I'll just go to the selection profile here again. The planning profile we have. I'm just going to build one planning profile. So planning profile is not only a, a one planning profile like how we created a selection profile. It is a different. It uh, it is a combination. Okay. Okay, it's a combination of uh, multiple selection profiles like such as a carrier profile or capacity profile or optimizer planning, planning cost profile, incompatibility, some other. Okay, I'm just creating one planning profile. Maybe I'll just put a profile, planning profile, underscore tm underscore one. I'm just putting like this, okay? Mm -hmm. So here you are just seeing what are your default uh, documents, whether you want based on the planning profile, cat, uh, document types, based on the category or based on the condition base. So if you say defined per category in the uh, planning profile, so that means here we will be saying whether we want to execute based on the freight units or freight orders. Okay. Okay. So you will be saying the duration in case maybe 90 days or uh, Within the 90 days, the planning has to run. Okay, and the same thing: rounding or then full days. These are all uh, factory calendar additional offset hours. These are all offset in days. We just put 90 days, and additionally, if you want some other days, additionally, because uh, there there can be some planned holidays or uh, leaves will be there, right? So on those dates, we want to remove and uh, those dates and still 90 business days should be there so then you can put the offset hours or offset in these. Okay. So we are running the manual planning strategy. This is manual planning strategy and if you want to schedule this, you can schedule using this job. So this is nothing but VSS underscore DEF uh, scheduling strategy. So I will show you how this will be happening. Okay. Selection profile for flight orders, selection profile for flight bookings, capacity selection. So these are all once we enter here and we have to come and assign. So okay. planning profile of all these things. So mm -hmm. right now we are not doing anything, right? So we just uh, we are considering only the planning. Uh, we have just executed the uh, planning selection profile, but we still have to do a lot of things. So that's why I'm, I, I, I will stop planning profile here now. Uh, once the planning profile is done, uh, after uh, each and every topic, we will be having some separate uh, classes for capacity, optimizer, 
planning cost income per work and that will come at the time when we are actually discussing those okay well uh, capacity selection what does it mean for what truck city yeah. and or this capacity selection can be for your resources maybe it can be your handling resources or it can be uh, your uh, calendar resources or it can be your vehicle resources so what is the capacity of that vehicle okay. okay so carrier selection is for your carrier details and planning cost profile so uh, how you want to plan the cost for this plan, uh, uh, to the transportation whether it should be from your internal planning from the, uh, transportation link or it should be from the R3 or it should be from the TCCM. So a lot of ways you want to plan all these things details you will be entering. Okay. I will, I will tell you at the time because each and every topic these are all not necessary to be discussed at this moment. But I will come again uh, when we actually come into the topic. So if I discuss here the time when actually when we are discussing that topic it will be again confusing for you. So that's why I will keep it. Uh, I will Okay. Okay. So now the planning run is uh, done. So what we have to look is once the planning done run is done. Okay. So uh, okay. So there is one more uh, I have to show you. Now just come here. Okay, so now uh, we, I will be showing you the document flow. So what is the document flow? If you see here document flow, we have a forwarding order, we have a flight unit and we have a flight order. Mm -hmm. So this is in planning, okay, in process, in process. So what does it mean? In process and then already the status of this order might have changed to plan. Now I will show you. <laughs> Okay, so here I'll just come here, edit. Once uh, the statuses. Okay, so here in the statuses you can see this. It is in, in planning, and uh, it is still in planning because the flight order just created, and we have not done any carrier selections or uh, we have not done other uh, profiles. So we just executed the selection profile. That's what it's showing as a in planning. But once uh, uh, if you go and uh, save or make the changes in the flight order, automatically the status will change to planned. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is uh, this is about uh, your uh, planning run, and the planning run uh, we will be looking only for a selection selection profile, and the remaining all the profiles will be considered at the time when we actually go to the topic. Okay. Okay. So that is the planning run and all. So, okay, uh, and here one more thing is. So one more thing that uh, we should remember is uh, I was about to tell you one more thing here. Okay, uh, what I want to tell you is forwarding order you see here we have a sales organization. Now uh, if I click the uh, document flow in the flight order we will be having the purchasing tab so we'll just show you that one we are into the stages See here, we will be having the purchasing organization and we will be having the carrier details. So carrier selection will come when we have done the carrier selection profile. Okay. So here this is a purchase organization and the same source and destination. And for each and every there will be one right order. Okay. Okay. 
So it is not like the following order. For each stage, you will be creating one fact order. Like if you have 10 stages, so for 10 stages, you will be adding 10 fact orders. So one following order contains multiple fact orders. Mm -hmm. I got it. So the fact is from where? From the forward order? Uh, sorry, what was it? The purchase organization. Yeah, purchase organization is just we are entering manual in the forwarding order type. So I will tell you that is a configuration. No, but at the time of uh, freight order creation, can we even maintain the purchase organization or it will come from the It will carrier? come from the, uh, come from the configuration. Configuration of your forwarding order type. So uh, this type. This drop down type. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have that uh, manually entered in the following order, you can come here and change it. So you can edit here and enter the details. Okay. Okay. And the vehicle again, the vehicle resources which we use in the planning, and the carrier will come for at the time of a carrier selection profile. And uh, we also have this uh, subcontracting process. So that subcontracting I will show you. Subcontracting is nothing but uh, it's a we will be having a tendering, carrier tanking, and movement continuous movement and so these are all we have to be uh, uh, at the time. Uh, again, we will be planning this. Again, we will be going to see this. Okay, so these are different tabs that what we have to do: tendering profile, carrier scheduling. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. which now I was telling you one more thing. So here the subsequent follow. So this is one more way where you can go to the transmission corporate. So I was showing you uh, one order or one planning profile uh, from the planning you have to come to the transportation corporate. Right? So this is one way. But if you want to directly plan from the following order you can just come here follow up and start transportation corporate. It will be executed only for this particular document from which document you want to execute. Okay. Okay. You can execute. So if you want to start in the background, start in the background. Okay. Okay. Start in the background, system automatically start in the background based on the uh, program what you enter. Okay. So mm -hmm. this is BSR underscore uh, TM user one. So this is the job which was created in the background. If you want anything to be created automatically, you always use BSR. Okay. Okay, it will begin, you can see this in the SM57, same whatever you are using in the R3, the same thing you can see here. The, the transaction is SM57 only, right? Uh, background job? Yeah. 57. 57. SM57. SM57. Yeah, so this is. 37. Yeah, SM37. Whatever we created, the system will execute this. Okay, so this is what we created. It cancelled because uh, there is nothing no document is ready for planning. Okay? So this is all about the planning run. And uh, once the output got created, the flight order got created, so the planning is done. So we are done with the planning. And from next onwards, we have to see how the flight order got determined. So here uh, in, in the document, if you go and see here, so in the document, it is showing this 1000. Right? I was telling you there are three ways to determine the following flight order. So how the system determines this 1000 as a document? Okay. Document. So I already told you this, uh, maybe if you remember you can just recollect or else I will tell you again. I think this is maintained in the flight unit, you know? Yeah, flight unit tech card. Yeah, there is a document that we are mentioning this. Okay, got it. Got it. And this total distance is coming from uh, the transportation lane. Okay. Right. Okay, means of transportation is US truck. So this is nothing but your uh, means of transportation which you entered in the transportation lane. So all this thing. Now from onwards, your transportation lane, transportation uh, charges, everything will come into picture from now onwards. Okay. Okay, Santosh, I have sent you one uh, one error I was having. Uh, okay. I have created that. Uh, if you yeah, if you can just check it. 
with the panning block you are seeing? Yeah, yeah, why is it like that? All my orders like planning block is there. Or do you create any new document type or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay, one second. I will just see that. What is order type? Y F W one. Oh, Y F W one. Okay. Okay, uh, what was the document type or document number? Forwarding order management, right? Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell the number? Uh, what is the number you created? 41? Yeah, maybe I will just put it from here. 41350. <laughs> One, two, well, three, like any, four. Any, any document created with Y, F, W, all of them are the same problem. Okay, all of them are the same problem. Okay. You see that the prime unit has been created. Um, you find that the block was there. Maybe I didn't intend the date even, I'm not sure. I can share the screen because uh, it's on the presentation, I guess. No, but I don't see a block here. Uh, where do you see the block? Which strategy string is uh, open? In the file data. Yeah, go to the file. Go to the document flow. Yeah, uh, here. So uh, the flight unit also you create a new document type, flight unit type? No, it's using the same thing, I think, the existing one. No, go, go to the flow, document flow. Okay. Now go to the right side. Ah, oh, okay. No, there is no right side here. Mm -hmm. Now here it is showing the planning bug is already passed, so there is no block here. No, can I take your mail? I have sent you in the mail. Yeah, I that saw order. that one mail. Uh, where is that you are seeing? I'm not sure. That is what I am looking. Uh, you are in the stages, huh? Okay, stages. You went into stages and so on. See, these are all blocked because uh, you have not entered the destination location for each stage. So that's why showing is blocked. But this is not planning, mm -hmm. not a block, it is just a uh, red status because there is no destination here. 
-hmm. So for each stage, I need to put the destination? Yeah, each and every stage is the destination. This is the stage one, that is nothing but pickup. And this is the pre-carriage, this is on-carriage, main carriage and delivery. So each and everything, our, des our destination should be there. Or else, it will not be considered in the planning plan. Ah, okay, so here, the destination can be the same, 1009 for all? Uh, if you put the same 1009 as the destination, then uh, again here the source location will be this destination and here the another destination should come. See, it is from, let's say, from uh, India to Germany, it is going via Dubai. So from India, it is going to Dubai as a uh, one destination. From Dubai, I will be starting. That is another shipment. Maybe from yes. Dubai, going as a air. So Dubai to uh, Antwerp. From again, Antwerp will be another source. Antwerp to Germany. So that these are the three source and destination locations. That is how we have to plan. So if the, at the first stage, what is your destination will become the source at the second stage. Okay, so in this case, uh, let's assume that 1000 is my source. So the destination yes. will be what? the port, for your, example? This should be your destination. Or if okay. you want anything, uh, maybe you have any destination which you created, I can, uh, or also you can put something here. I will just enter, edit. Actually, I think the forwarding order is on. Okay, I will just go with another number. What is the number? Do you remember? 41? 350. Um, I don't remember it really. Okay, so here I will just put 1000 from 1000 to 11. Now see here it is in plan. Now from 11 to I will just say 12. Okay, so from 12 to I will put it to CU302. Okay, so from CU302 uh, I will just put it for CU300. CU310. So this is your. So this is source and destination. So this is source and destination. So everything will now change into planning stage. Okay. But, uh, so uh, is this data, data can come automatic or I need to maintain it one by one? No, this you have to maintain it. It depends on your uh, LSP. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Yes. Okay. okay, so the destination was missing, huh? Yeah, destinations is missing for each and every line item. So that's why you are having this problem. Now just uh -huh. try to enter the So then uh, the system will give you, it, it will not show you the trend, that, that block message. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can maintain this in the forwarding order, am I right? Yeah, you can maintain this in the forwarding order as well. So from yes. there it will come to the order. And I can maintain it in the flight order, that's it. Yeah, flight order from the flight order it will come to the flight unit. Ah yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, I got the point. Yeah. yeah. So next class uh, we will discuss about the flight type, flight a uh, flight order type, how the flight order will determine and all. So we will see that. No problem, no problem. Alas, let us make it then on uh, on, on Saturday. Uh, Saturday at what time? Because Saturday it is a weekend. Um, I will be having some weekend classes. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, same time. It's good. No, uh, nine thirty. I have weekend class. Uh, the same batches there uh, with uh, different topics. Okay. Can we make it earlier then? Tomorrow is not possible. Uh, tomorrow I might have a little bit work, so. Oh, okay. Tomorrow, tomorrow what time? Uh, tomorrow the same time. Uh, how we met in the same time? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I don't think so. Uh, let's see, no problem. Uh, it's fine, no problem. Let us make it the same time. No.
Yeah, okay. If you have any problem, so just to inform him. Uh, we can plan accordingly on maybe in the next class. Okay, on in, next in, in Saturday you cannot, huh? No, Saturday the same, another batches are there, no? So they will be coming only on Saturday. So I will be taking long, long hours for them. They are only weekend batches. Yeah, but that's my point. So we can start earlier or after that if it, if it is possible. Uh, that is not because I will be taking from my time uh, 7.30 to 10.30, so it will be three hours continuous session. So um, Before that, can we start then? Or you are, you are in a job? Not a job, but I will be having some, because I have to sit for three hours, right? So continuously, I have to do some other track. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. No. Let me just okay, see tomorrow, then we can meet tomorrow. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, then. Yeah. Bye bye.